Good evening. I'm Alex Ewing, and I am honored to introduce Juanita Moore. Juanita Moore is a denizen of the limelight. For almost three decades, the tireless hostess has blitzed San Francisco with high glamour, drag, danceable beats, culinary delectables, political activism, and a philanthropic heart that has illuminated the entire city. Juanita remains a creation of fashion and glamour and generosity and nerve, inspiring those around her to make a positive difference in their lives and in their communities, and doing it all with a timeless and elegant and innovative spirit. To date, Juanita has helped to raise over six hundred thousand dollars. I'm saying it again, six hundred thousand dollars, and this is all through the annual Pride Party supporting some of the San Francisco's most impactful organizations, including the GLBT Historical Society. And talking about history, Juanita and I made history this year by bringing you the People's March. It was epic. It was brown and black and indigenous people of color with our white allies coming down the original route on Polk Street and for the celebrating the 50th year of Prime. Like, like I said before, it was epic. Oh, makes me so proud that people were so happy that day and just felt like old times. So we come to the great part here. In recognition of decades of tireless and gracious benefits for LGBTQ organizations. The GLBT Historical Society is honored to present the 2020 Willie Walker Founder Award to Anita Moore. Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for this gorgeous award. I just love the rainbow everywhere on it. Uh, I'm truly honored to receive it. And it's actually even a greater honor to be placed in such distinguished ranks as those of the past honorees, all of whom have made huge contributions to life in our city. This is especially important right now when our community is being erased by the federal government. So I'm proud to receive the Willie Walker Award especially from an institution like the GLBT Historical Society that continues to remind us why our identities are important and why they are so unique. Our future is only as vibrant as its past, and I'm happy and honored to help keep that history alive. Willie Walker always said, if queer people don't preserve their history, most of it will disappear. So thank you again. This is absolutely gorgeous and I'm completely honored. Thank you. Uh, first, I alluded, <laughs> <laughs> I just yes. want to say, I love Juanita Moore and she's Mexicana y Puerto Rican. I'm half Puerto Rican and so right there, bam, peaches. Yes, congratulations, Juanita. Uh, I, I just, I, I'm so impressed. Uh, again, when I first moved to San Francisco, uh, Juanita Moore was already ruling the scene, you know, back in 1996. And was, I mean, Juanita was always someone who could be like, how, how should I say this? Well, outrageous and like a whore, you know, she would like get naked and, and at the stud, like in these body suits and like get gang banged and stuff, but then turn around and like, march and lead a rally and raise a ton of money for the community and i feel like you know a great drag queen pillar and community leader can do all of those things and always look gorgeous while they're doing it because <laughs> she's half puerto rican <laughs> is that the secret oh the mexican too but why but am i don't I know so about the, uh, <laughs> i don't understand Gang bang? Is that what I? That must be. That must be a different term for queens. I'm sure that's not what I. That's not how I do it. Anyways, um, I also want to uh, point out her activism, her talent as a performer, uh, uh, as a curator. Can we talk about her cooking, Peaches? Can we talk about yes. her cooking? 
you've been we both been to her kitchen yeah. i've been to her her kitchen in her apartment and had i went to the coffee. i went there yeah oh but and, and her honey goo chicken she did well, okay. she deserves an award for that she does that mm. said the the chicken deserves its own plaque on the <laughs> rainbow walk of fame <laughs> it's true and and again she just she's ageless and gorgeous and you know so to be able to do all of these things for the community uh is incredible she is historical and i'm so glad that we got to see her be presented with that award can i throw uh one uh useful uh another useful item practical is also she has uh started this housing uh board on, yes. on uh social media and so anyone sure. who has difficulty now with housing we're in the bay right. area you can uh, you can find out juanita's list it's called on yep. facebook yeah yeah juanita's list and it's exploded mm -hmm. uh, once again yeah so uh, love you juanita she mm -hmm. hosted uh, before, before the 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 shutdown i was lucky enough to get to participate in a funeral march she had for the castro and i, I was able to uh present a uh, a wreath on the um on the Castro Theater, but we also laid a lot of black wreaths on a lot of uh, businesses, queer owned businesses that have shuttered. And Juanita really did a great job of bringing attention to the fact that, you know, our neighborhood is at risk. Uh, and Maybe now- there are two Juanitas. How could yes. one queen do all this? She's a superhero. <laughs> she is, she is. All right. Well, that was an incredible start to the award giving.